Howard. Are you excited? What? We get to talk about the next thing in the Sonic universe, the Sonic movie universe. <gasps> oh my God, Shadow the Hedgehog, let's go. And no, no, that's that's not out yet. That doesn't come out until later this year, I think. What are you talking about? Sonic Three doesn't come out until like I don't know, October or something. Maybe even later. Maybe maybe November. I don't even. I don't remember. But it's not out. It's not out now. Oh my God, See, dude! See, December twentieth, twenty twenty-four. Oh my God, dude! I just it's, looked it up. He's right. Everything he said. <laughs> it's it's Tuesday, June fourth, at three fifty-seven p.m. that we're recording this. Then what are we reviewing? We're reviewing the hit Paramount Plus limited series, Knuckles. Oh. I don't want to talk about this. All right, that's our review for today, guys. <laughs> Thanks so much for tuning in. Uh, go follow us on all our socials, and we'll see you next time. <laughs> yeah, we're reviewing Knuckles today, guys. <laughs> and if you couldn't tell from our little banter there, it ain't it ain't it ain't good. <laughs> yeah. Um. I. This is the most. This was a 40 minute idea stretched <laughs> to a full six episode miniseries. Six episodes. <laughs> Even four episodes would have been like, yeah, okay. Oh, it was. Okay, no, no. But, but what could they. But, but, but guys, it's not good. What could they do? Let's, let's, let's go over the premise, okay? Because the premise, I think, is fine. Yeah. Knuckles keeps LARPing about being a warrior and he needs to get comfortable on Earth. And at the same time, mm -hmm. Wade Whipple is a loser at bowling. So Knuckles is going to make Wade Whipple the funny cop from the two movies. Which, and he's Wade, if you're remembering, is the really annoying comic relief character from the first two movies. Yes. So why we decided to give him a starring role is beyond me. Yeah. I, I would have taken, uh, what's his name, Agent Stone? Was that his name? The um, Robotnik's little Robotnik's little lackey, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I would have watched fun. something. I, like, I love him. Everyone likes that guy. Wouldn't have worked in a Knuckles show as like a protagonist, but. I mean, yeah, but like still, I mean, you didn't have to think about Knuckles. Mm. But, but so he's going to make Wade Whipple a warrior, and on paper, this is fine. Yeah. Could be better. Could, Could be, be worse. I mean, it's, a ba it's basic. Yeah. It's basic. Right, and if this was like a forty-minute, like like the um the South Park specials that mm. they have on Paramount Plus, yeah, 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 if yeah. they were like that, where they're like a forty-minute short film, mm -hmm. I feel like this would work a lot more. Yeah. But we're going to go over the first issue, is that there's way too much and way too little at the exact same yeah. time, right? So that's the plot premise. It's a pretty simple premise. So what they're going to do is they're going to go to a bowling tournament in Reno, Nevada. However, at the same time, there's this evil guy who is Robotnik's assistant, whose name I forget. I don't even think he was ever named. Oh, no. And he pays... I think he was just given a title, like, he was the buyer. I don't think he was ever actually named in the show. Oh, God. Oh, jeez, it's already... The issues are already starting. <laughs> so he gets two gun agents to betray gun... Because Knuckles leaves town, and the two gun agents track gun, uh, Knuckles and Wade as they leave Green Hills in Montana, as they go to mm -hmm. Reno. And what follows is a series of plots where someone gets captured. The other guy saves them. Here's the new plot. Someone gets captured. Someone else saves them. Here's the new thing. For six episodes. So... The buyer wants Knuckles for his quills. Just, just like the plot of the last two Sonic movies. Why he needs specifically Knuckles and not Tails or Sonic. Yeah, you know that? I never really thought about that. I'll never know. We'll never know. I never thought about that. Why Why not just get Sonic? And, and the second question is, if Gun has eyes over Green Hills and the fight was in Green Hills, mm. how did the bad guy get Knuckles' quills? A lot of Knuckles quills. Mm. And especially since he, his backstory, which is explained later, is that he was shot by gun, but he survived, which means this happened before the events of Sonic the Hedgehog 2, 
that event because that's when they realized Dr. Eggman went crazy. Yeah. So when did he get Knuckles' his quills? Unless, I mean, that unless they explain that the two gun agents that betray Gun in the beginning of the Knuckles show has been secretly selling them Knuckles' quills, but they never explain that or mention it? How far into this review are we? Because it's already going further and further <laughs> down on, on my internal tier list. <laughs> So, We're not off to a good start already. Yeah, I we, was already going to put this low. So, <laughs> you want to just keep going, summarizing the pop before I keep bringing up more plot holes? No, <laughs> go, keep going, keep going. Honestly, at this point, just keep going. So, so these two gun agents betrayed Gun. They get, they have one of Sonic's rings, which makes sense because they covered up the, the battle in the yep. first movie. And they go and they capture Knuckles and they put them. In, uh, put Knuckles in a cage and they wait for the buyer to show up. But in the meantime, Wade is like, oh, Knuckles said he's going to train me to be a warrior. I'm going to free Knuckles. And at this point, this is when the theme song kicks on because it's like episode two. Mm -hmm. And oh my God, I have never hated Scandals the Warrior <laughs> more and more. Every single time. They just, the beginning it's, of it, it's, it's Scandals really the Warrior. It's really overplayed. It's so overplayed. It plays like twice, like beginning and like the end. And then sometimes they play just in the middle. They reference it all the time. Not to mention it is the theme song for the show. And it's like, I, I blame Stranger Things because I'm sick of just like grabbing an 80s song that's just like, let's just keep playing it and playing it mm -hmm. and playing it and playing it and playing it and you'll like it and find it funny because we played an 80s song. And I'm like, no one cares. I, if I paid you, the, I'll bet $30 right now if you were watching, I don't know, Stranger Things and Smells Like Teen Spirit plays you're not gonna go, or, 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 Nirvana. You're not gonna do that. So I don't know why we do that with 80s songs. It's infuriating. Well, it's because we're still in the 80s nostalgia thing. Give it like another five or so years, then we'll move on to 90s nostalgia. Dog, we've been in the 80s nostalgia thing since 2012. Okay, so give it 10 years, and then we'll move on to 90s nostalgia. <laughs> ah! Ah! So. <laughs> so, um. I also forgot to mention uh, uh, the first fight is at the end of the first episode where the gun agents capture Knuckles. I actually do like that fight mm. because one guy has like fists powered by Knuckles' quills. Yep. So he has like basically like power armor on his chest and the woman has a gun. Yeah. And he does the funny line where he's like, do, I, do you think I need, do I look like I need your power? And the lady's like, what are you doing? And he's like, no, I'm trying to do a, a cool bit. I'm trying to say a cool, cool one-liner. <laughs> <laughs> so, so episode two, they, they you know, that Wade is gonna free Knuckles from the two gun agents, and there's a whole montage of him being cool, and then his plan, which I do like that montage. Oh, it's fun. It's a really fun montage. Yeah, the, yeah, yeah. That, that's that, that's the frustrating thing about the show is that there are moments of greatness. There are there are specific moments that are like that was really really good. Oh yeah. And then the rest of the show. happens. And it's not that good. And it's the most painfully obvious thing that you've seen coming. Yeah. Like, unironically, I think Wade Wilson is the highlight of the show because... Wade Wilson, Deadpool. Shh, shh, uh, <laughs> did, shh. Wait, hold on. Did I write Wade Wilson? Did you actually? Wait, hold on. Wade. Wait, what's his last name? Wade Whipple. Whipple. Oh, my God. I'm... <laughs> Wade Wilson. <laughs> Wade Wilson. Hey, if Deadpool was in the show, it'd probably be better. Like, what was it? So they have the fake montage of him going to save Knuckles and then it fails, then he actually fights them 1v1 in, you know, like comedic way. The scene where the guy with the gloves grabs him and then the guy, the gun agent's mother calls mid-fight was really funny. It's, it's, it's good. It's really funny. But then afterwards, the obvious E.T. homage was not funny. And that's the issue. It's like, like, oh, are they gonna do that? Oh, they did that joke. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so Wade accidentally frees Knuckles, and then they glide on, and then he glides on Knuckle the Echidna's back away from the mansion, and they have the ET parody moment. No, I, I, I can't remember. Did we ever see Knuckles glide in Sonic Two, or was this the first? No, time he jumped off a plane. That's about it. Huh? Yeah, he didn't glide. Weird. Hold on, Lore Master. Did Knuckles glide in Sonic the Hedgehog 2? Uh, it's been a while since I've seen it, but I don't think he did. I do remember him just falling off the plane. 
yeah, yeah. Weird. He fell off the plane. Yeah, we never saw him glide. Yeah. Weird. Yeah, so this is the first time we've seen him glide. Very Thanks, strange. Uh, Adam the Lore Master. Obvious E.T. homage. They go eat dinner, have a fun time. And then Wade goes to his mom's house. Mm -hmm. And... We get introduced to Wade's sister, and she's absolutely- The most insufferable human being put to screen. Yeah. Yeah. And, um... You know the typical, like, brother-sister dynamic in every, like, kid's cartoon? Yeah. Imagine that, but these are full-grown adults. Yeah. Still having that exact same head-butting dynamic. But, but the difference is that Wade is more like... Like, he's just kind of, like, wholesome but a loser. Yeah. And his sister just obviously antagonizes him. Mm hmm And then the mother yells at both of them because the sister's antagonizing, and the moment he retaliates by doing something less worse, the mother's like, you're both terrible, both of you. You're making me cry and sweat and cry. Mm -hmm. and like, you're tearing this family apart. <laughs> um, so... Yeah, that's that's obnoxious. Yeah. That's really obnoxious. And it's, it's even more so because they end up being main characters for the rest of the, for the rest of the series. Yeah. But don't worry, uh Wade's mom is unironically the pretty, funniest pretty character good, in the whole character. show, next to Knuckles. Um I I I, I like the, the bounty hunter guy, Jack. Bounty Hunter doesn't have enough screen time. I know. He's only in episode one and then he does the, the fight which we'll get to in a second. Well, he's, he was in the, uh, the dream episode. I, I I will get to that. I don't like that at all. Oh, I did. I, I didn't. <laughs> I thought I liked it. I, I, all right. Oh, well, yeah, we're getting ahead of ourselves. All Sorry. Right. So they so Wade has a family dinner, and of course all the bounty hunters know where he is because they all just, quite frankly, predict that Wade was now wanted by Gunn or by someone. I actually don't know who they're wanted by I, or I, for what crime. I don't know. Uh, because the gun agents went rogue, so I don't know how they were able to put a police bullet in and then not get caught. <laughs> um, but now all the bounty hunters are going after Wade. They all predict he's going to his mom's house. So they have a family dinner. Knuckles and Wade's mom make... It's a joke, but like she explains the plight of Jewish people, mm -hmm. and Knuckles is like, Ah, a warrior tribe. Plot by... <laughs> Having their See, own you can't even you can't even finish the thought without laughing. Is how funny it is. <laughs> Knuckles just is like, ah, yes, my people, the Akinas, were also like the plight of the Jewish people. Did owls get the Jewish people? <laughs> it's like, whoa! <laughs> it's, like, it's like the best joke. It's, in the it's home. so ridiculously out of pocket, and it it, it lands so hard oh. because she because she's so casual about the comedy. She's like, he's practically Jewish. And it just comes, it keeps moving on. It moves, it just moves on from that. Yeah, because, because they actually think my favorite thing is instead of making Knuckles stupid, it just seems like he's like, in the nicest way possible, he's like a little autistic. Yeah. So he's just, he just genuinely doesn't know yeah. proper social etiquette. So he'll just be like, like, he's an alien. He's an alien. Of Makes course sense. he would. You know, that 16 year old alien. Yeah. Makes sense, you know? <laughs> And it's, re it, it's really funny whenever he does stuff. Uh, and then I also wrote here, Alien Ant Farm reference. I don't remember that. There I, was like I a, should bring up my notes. You have your, I don't, I didn't make a lot of notes, but I should bring mine up. I think it was like a poster for anthology in like Wade's bedroom. Mm. Cause, or, or like they referenced Alien Ant Farm, but like I, I saw Alien Ant Farm, I'm like, yeah, <laughs> damn. That's a reference. So speaking of that episode where they're at their house, this is a total aside, and it's not even like a nitpicker. It was just an observation I made during one of the fight sequences. I swear to God, I heard the Roblox oof sound effect in there somewhere. I did not. I swear to up. God, I was like, "Excuse me." Oh no, Tommy Tellerico, no. <laughs> He's gonna sue Paramount and Sega. <laughs> but there is a fight scene at the house because all the bounty hunters show up, and I actually think it's really good. The revolving—it's really, fight it's scene a really cool camera. fight scene. I think that's where I heard the Roblox sound effect. I could be wrong, but yeah, no, that, yeah, that revolving camera where it's just panning around the kitchen in a, in a perfect circle—it's really, really well done. Yes, bounty hunters keep invading the kitchenette, and the mom is using a frying pan, and Knuckles is like using the environment to fight mm. off the bounty hunters. 
is really cool. Because it's it's centered around the candle. The um oh what's the Jewish holiday they're celebrating? I don't know what what the actual Jewish tradition but was like, that they were celebrating. But you get yeah. the point, right? Also, the scene where Knuckles doesn't understand what a prostitute is. And he's like, why Why do people shame this woman for working? <laughs> there is no harm in this. <laughs> Knuckles is an ally. Dude, Knuckles... No, I, I love Knuckles in this show. <laughs> I just... Um, so then, after the fight scene, everyone goes to bed. There's a good, really funny good morning scene with Wade waking up, having a cup of coffee in his bathrobe, looking at all the his old neighborhood, even though the walls have been broken mm -hmm. through because of a fight scene, everything's destroyed. Uh, and then he gets kidnapped by Doug the Bounty Hunter. Jack Sinclair. Put some respect on that That's right. name. Jack Sinclair, world's best bounty hunter. Because uh, originally in the plot, he was supposed to be on Jack Sinclair's bowling team, but he lost to a Girl Scout who's like seven or something. Yep. And he t gets rid of Wade's bowling vest and replaces him with the girl, even though I don't know what bowling team in the world is just two people. I don't know. I don't, I don't know either. The only other bowling things I've seen is the, the Big Lebowski. That's the only other experience. And I how have. many? How many? Three people. Three, that's that's a good point. Three, three people. That's a good point. All right. So. <laughs> but hmm. I don't know, it's been a while since I've seen the Big Lebowski, I'm not gonna remember. So, so, Jack Sinclair kidnaps Wade, and then Wade has to channel his, so now... His inner warrior. His inner to, warrior. To, to be able to escape. And the whole episode is a dream rock opera. And it's awesome. I it's think great. it's awesome. For the first three minutes, and then I just keep going, oh, it's still going, about stuff we already know about, with an only okay song. Oh, it's still going. Oh, he's out of it. Oh, it's funny that he went back to the musical because he got the wrong uh, lesson from mm -hmm. it. That's really funny. Oh, God, it's for another five minutes. <laughs> it's so it's so high effort, and I appreciate it, but it's so long because everything in the show is so long. Yes, that, that's the main issue. But I do think it's the only episode that like tried to do something different and unique and, and I, I respect the it, hell out of it for that but it's so like the actual fight the actual narrative um plot differences between jack sinclair and wade is inherently shorter than wade just being told to just man yes. up then he shin ryukens his way out of a cage they don't explain that at all no which this is his inner warrior. It's his inner don't warrior. Don't worry about it. They don't explain the inner warrior. They just painfully just talk about being a good person for like twelve minutes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's 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 so if you're and we had to go and before that musical number we had to go through a whole painful minute long thing about uh, pa Pachamachik. Um, Oh, the chief. Yeah, the chief, played by Christopher, Christopher Lloyd, Lloyd, who's great. Who's he's great. so good in this show, and I'm it's it's kind of annoying that he's he has barely like what. Five minutes of screen Five time? Five minutes of screen time, and most of it's the most obnoxious joke in the world, it but is. his name pronunciation. Yes. But I do like him in that role. It, it was a very good role. I wish they did more. Um, but yeah, no, the rock opera happens. He find, Wade finds his inner warrior, does a motorcycle duel with Jack Sinclair, which I thought was really no, funny. It's only half a motorcycle duel, Howard. Because he, he's not on a motorcycle. He gets, he's on a tricycle. Which is also funny. And he cuts off Jack's ponytail. Yes. And then steals. And then he's like, oh, you won, warrior. And then he, like, just, uh, Wade takes his motorcycle and hat and vest. Mm -hmm. And then goes back to Knuckles. And Knuckles, with his whole pot of coffee that he was drinking just straight from the pot. Mm -hmm. It's like, ah, yes, the warrior is ready. And they go on the motorcycle. Knuckles gets the cool cowboy hat that we haven't seen him in in like forever. From the Sonic OVA. Yeah. And Wade gets like a like a nice leather thing. And then they go to Reno. And you may think to yourself, wow, they got rid of one of the villains. What happened with the gun agents? Oh, don't worry. We still have to go through the four other villains, including the two gun agents. All right. So... We get to Reno, and it turns out his dad was the bowling champion of Reno, Nevada, not Las Vegas. Reno, and I was Nevada. not expecting Kerry Ellis to be in this show, because he showed up and I'm like, 
Is that is that Carrie Ellis? Is that, <laughs> that Carrie Ellis? What, what's going on here? And sure enough, it was. I'm like, oh, okay. I I I I'm into this now. Yeah, and but I am soon literally taken out because the moment they do that, I'm reconnecting with my dad. Everything's going perfectly fine, and I go. Let me guess. Yeah, I'm like, gee, I wonder They're, where this is gonna go. And then the mom goes up after they reconnect, and the kid is good at bowling, and you know, you know Wade's good at bowling now. Uh, and after the father and Wade, we could uh, reconnect, and everything goes perfectly positive. What could possibly go wrong? A uh, yuck. Oh no. No, no, no. Hold on. Oh. We missed the. Uh, sorry, the, sorry. Wade's mom goes. Uh, uh, Wade, we didn't leave on good term. He is not good. He's bad. And Wayne goes. That's with you, with me, I'm gonna do good. I like him, he's cool. And then he immediately gets betrayed because he sells his own son out to the two gun agents. What? Because the two gun agents got threatened by the evil Robotnik assistant guy person. I never would have imagined that would have happened. Wow. I will say, I like his dad's bowling ball at the teacup. That, that That's one, pretty cool. Yeah, that was this really is cool. pretty cool. Uh, so then, so Wade has to sell out Knuckles. So Wade sells out Knuckles, but turns out it was a trick because Knuckles had an earbud on the whole time since he was trying to use Knuckles to reconnect with what he was saying mm-hmm. with his dad. So Knuckles heard and fought off the two gun agents. Wade has a bowl off with his dad, in which Wade beats his dad yep. in a bowl in the final in the bowling tournament. But then the Robotnik guy shows up and beats Knuckles. So then Wade takes the power armor that the one of the gun agents had and throws bowling balls yep. at him until Knuckles wakes up and then just wins the fight. And then that's the end of the show. Yeah. Actually, no, don't clap. This was a bad show. Yeah, We're not yeah. Clapping. I'm not applauding. So I actually wrote um, this one thing. Um, <laughs> Uh, so, so first of all, I wrote, why did it take five episodes to establish the villain when there's five <laughs> villains? Um, I also wrote, Knuckles saying schmuck is goaded. Uh, but one of the things I did notice is that the reason why this, I feel like this sucks, and, and everything in this show is not good. Mm. Did you notice that every single dialogue, even in the rock opera, was someone asking a completely direct question, and then they get immediately a direct oh. answer? I, I, the, the, one of my earliest notes uh, was about the dialogue is that it's just, it's so bad that it almost makes me feel like it's intentionally bad. <laughs> but I can't tell. This literally feels like the first draft. It does. It feels like the first draft. Literally, it's just, but Wade will just be like, haha, I'm having a fun dinner. Mom, why did father leave? <laughs> and then the mom goes, your father left for this reason, this reason, mm-hmm, and this reason. Mm-hmm. And then he goes, but what about me? And then the conversation gets interrupted. But then they go back to the conversation. Like Every single conversation is it's so, so direct. It's so stilted. It's so stilted. It doesn't feel like people are talking. It feels automated. This it, it feels, like, feels like they're reading off of a script. Yes, it's so, and it's just, it's, it's in the fact that it's so safe, it's so bland, mm-hmm. like, you could have, and like the only good episode's the first episode, and that's because the guy who directed the movies made yeah. the first episode, and nothing else, because he's too busy making Sonic 3. And that's the one episode where no one goes, I want, uh, what about X? Yeah. X, I'm going to explain X now. Oh, okay, let's go do X. Like, it's all so stilted. And there's so much money being put into this, because the Knuckles CG's good. Yeah. It's as good as the movie one. Which usually with these things, the CG's worse, but the Knuckles CG is good. No, no they, they put a lot of effort into the VFX for this show. The fight scenes are fantastic. It's mm-hmm. just the script feels like a baby wrote it. I could have wrote this. Which you can make the argument like, oh, it's Sonic, it's for kids. Sonic 2 was good. Sonic. What, where's your argument there? Every Pixar movie is made for five-year-olds and they purposely make it to make them cry, okay? There is the first what? Dozen Pixar movies are all some of the greatest animated movies ever, and they are not have dialogue this bad. Yeah. 
Like, honestly, watch Monsters, Inc. and then watch this show. The dialogue between the two are completely different. Mm -hmm. And unironically, Monsters, Inc. is probably aiming for a younger age range than Knuckles. I would say okay? so. Like, this is... I don't, I don't even like the excuses for kids. It's This is not good. No. <laughs> At all. At all. And we're being mean with this. Unironically, I would say top of E. Wow. Okay. I was going to be generous and give it D, but if you want to do E... Go right ahead. This is. The, I am more than happy to put it in E. It's it's not good. It's it's really not good. Yeah. Like I, Angry Birds is more funny than That's this. True. Angry Birds is better. That is true. It's just better. Dang. <laughs> like, I can't believe I can't believe. I'm admitting that I I enjoyed the Angry Birds movie more than the Knuckles show. And and don't you dare get started on being like <laughs> actually Angry Birds is a hinge. Shut up. We already went over that. Watch our review. Yeah. All right. It's okay. But yeah, no. This is an easy high E, low D. It's not that good. No. It's really bad. It's really boring. <laughs> like so so boring. Thank God we have Sonic Three to make up for later in the year. Oh, thank God. Thank God.